Hello guys, Hawkins here once again. This is the video tutorial for the Kitama Vortex Elite STF space mission. I've had a couple people asking the correct way to run this. They've been having issues and the missing false part about halfway through. This is the best way that I know of to go through and get the optional objectives and also the way that you need to run it if you are in the Public Elite STF channel. As you can see, the mission starts off. Everything except for the thing, spiral thing there that I forget the name of offhand that you don't want the probes to get into and the tactical cube are encased in the force fields. So you want to start off just fly to the tactical cube. As you can see we have a little problem. I'm in a team with five engineers, myself included. Not the ideal team for this mission. You want good firepower. Lucky for us we had some high DPS in this group and it didn't seem to be a problem. And one thing to remember here, it is a tactical cube. This is the only time you'll face a tactical cube in this mission. It's going to be tough. Basic layout for this map, why I'm sitting here shooting at this, on the left and right hand sides of the dimensional gate thing there in the center, you have the same setup that you have in Infected. You have a gateway, flanking it on both sides is a transformer, and then surrounded by the four generators. Same basic principle applies here. However, at this point, you need to split off in your team into two. Three to one side, two to the other side. As you'll see, I'll be in the team of three that goes to the left. One person on each side, their sole duty needs to be to destroy the probes that will come through the gateway. If they re reach the, the, the dimensional rift thing, someone needs to let me know what that real name is, but if the probes reach that point, you will fail your optional objective the moment one probe enters that. As you can see now the force fields have dropped around everything. I'm off on probe duty on the left hand side. If you're on probe duty, it's simple point, shoot, destroy, don't let them escape. If you are not on probe duty, you'll see I'll fly around and help out with this point others. You need to start off by taking out the four nanite generators. Uh, you can see them scattered around the transformer. Same basic setup that you would have in the infected run. At this, in the kinematic though, you don't have to worry about the 10% rule on the generators. However, once you destroy two of the generators on either side of the gateway, and this applies on both sides of the map, it will spawn up a cube over top that will chase you around no matter where you go. So. As you can see the cube spawn there. As soon as you get the cube to spawn, you need to take out that cube. It might not be as strong as that tactical cube you faced earlier, but it will create some havoc. If you're on probe duty, like I am, you can see those walls in between here where there's no probes to worry about. You can go ahead and help out with the cubes, help out with the transformers. You'll see me go around there every once in a while. But you need to keep an eye on the gateway. You can see in that brief couple of seconds there I had, two of the probes came out. So, the guy on probe duty needs to break off from the cube and head back to take care of the probes. In this STF, communication with the rest of your team is key. You need to know where other people are. If someone dies, you need to know what their job was so someone else can cover for them. Especially if it's on probe duty, as you'll see will happen to me later on. I'll even die in this. Now the um, optional objective in this one, there's two parts to it. You automatically will fail the optional if one of the probes breaches the transwarp conduit. Uh, not the transwarp conduit, the that's the gateways. The transdimensional spinny thing in the center. You will fail if a probe breaches that, or there is also a countdown timer that you have to have both gateways destroyed in. If that runs out, you will also fail the optional objective. So speed is key here, and that's why you split up into two groups on both the left and right side.
as for, we're just going to focus on the side I'm on right now. You can see one guy is attacking the right side, one guy is attacking the left side. There's no real rule or advantage to, okay, both are going to attack the left and both are going to attack the right or split apart. You just want to do whatever works best for you and your team and what all you agree to. Now as you can see here, if you're on probe duty, you notice probes won't attack you. The only thing that probes are concerned with is getting to that dimensional gate. As you can see now, no law on the probes. I come over to the right hand side to help with the nanite transformer while keeping my camera pointed at the gate, that way I'll know immediately when the next wave of probes will spawn and I can move back to that duty. As you can see, we still have about 11 minutes to go on the optional timer. Not going too quick, but at the same time we're not at that point where we're at risk of failing the optional objective because of the time. See, with facing towards the gateway, I saw the probe spawn, I broke off from the transformer, head back to the probes, you can see on the other side, they're getting the cubes spawned right now on that side, moving a little bit slower because there's only two of them over there as opposed to the three over here. Once again, when we get to the transformers, no 10% roll here or anything, just go ahead and destroy them whenever you can. Um, as for the gateways, the same rule as infected applies with these gateways. You want to stay at least 9.5 kilometers away. They will one-shot kill you if your ship build is not precisely correct in that way. As you'll see here in a little bit, I take my auto keybind off to actually talk with my teammates and start communicating to figure out plan of attack later on. And with my shield heal abilities uh, turned off and my balance shields turned off, the gateway will make quick work of my Alpha section of the um, Prometheus class ship I'm flying. You see now the left side's transformer has been destroyed, so now we're free to start focusing on the gateway. Once again, even though both transformers are gone, the probes are still spawning. If you're on probe duty, a handy abilities to have is tractor beam, tractor beam repulsor, gravity well which you can see I'm utilizing. Pretty much anything that will hold the probes in place in case you start getting overwhelmed. Now when you get down to just the gateway, this unlike in fact is where the 10% rule will apply. Once you destroy one gateway, the spawns of the probes will change from two to three probes to two to three probes plus two to three spheres that will come out and start attacking you. So that's why important you want to get them both to ten percent on both sides and then try to destroy them as close as you can to the same time as possible to prevent those spheres from spawning. As you can see as you get down one side down the one gateway the spawns of the probes will pick up. Now as you can see right here, I've now turned my auto hotkey program off and I am sitting at 7.32 kilometers which is a big no-no. Right now I'm communicating my team saying once we get this gateway to 10% stop attacking it, turn around and go to the other side, my ship will sit here and take care of the probes because that's my duty. As you can see though the gateway is making quick work of me. I hit my miracle work of three and it doesn't do much and I get one shotted by the gateway. At this point the rest of my team on the side saw me explode and they realize that they need to deal with the probes now on their own, which they do. As soon as I get back, it'll be no problem. As much as I hate dying in the STFs, I'm kind of glad I did right there to show you 
unless you have the right ship build, the right abilities going off at the same time, you really got to watch that 9.5 around the gateway. If I didn't have my bridge officer abilities with my rotate shield frequencies, emergency power shields, etc. set up the way I did, I would not be able to sit as close to the gateway as I'd like to. At this point, we're making a quick look at the gateway. One of my team members has decided to go help on the other side because they're running so far behind. You see the optional objective is ticked down under 7 minutes now. So I'm still going to sit here on probe duty, and whenever possible, I'm going to attack the gateway if I don't have probes to shoot at. Also, when you're attacking the gateways, if you have a starship that can separate, like my Prometheus class, I have the separation console from the Sea Store version, the Odysseys that can separate, or if you have any tactical team, uh, tac not tactical team, tactical fleet will bring in support ships, or any distress calls that are available from some of the missions, and will also become available on our starbase and embassy once we become high enough. They are very handy for dealing with these gateways and for the final part of this mission. Once again, you can see communication is key. Obviously, we're not on the same fleet, so when on voice chats, so you have to rely on the text chat. Just asking for an update on where the other gateway is at, so I know when to stop attacking our gateway. You see, I get verification. They got those down to 50%. Last time I was highlighted on our gateway, it was about 23%, so I know I'm about to the point where I want to back up beyond 10 kilometers away from the gateway, so I'll stop attacking it. Now we go back to the gateway, you see it drop below to 10%. I back up here beyond 10.0 kilometers, I'll stop my attacks, but I'm still in range to immediately attack the probes when they spawn. Now I'm just on a waiting game here until I get confirmation from the other side that they are also at 10% and I can resume my attack on the gateway. Now at this point too, once your gateway is at 10%, everyone else that was attacking the transformers should go to the other side and help out. But the one that is on probe duty must remain where they are because even though nothing else is being destroyed on this side, the probes will continue to spawn as you can see. And now I just got confirmation from the other side they're at 10%. So I gotta deal with these last probes here and then I can resume my attack on the gateway. Unfortunately as you'll see with the timing of the spawns, I never get to attack the gateway, the probes keep spawning on me, but I move back in the range of the gateway, and as soon as those spheres spawn, spawn, that gave me confirmation the gateway on the other side has been destroyed, and you can see now it's spheres attacking me, but this also means the other four members of my team are on the way to assist, and you'll see they make very quick work of the gateway while I'll focus on the probes. You can see our optional timer is about 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Once the second gateway is destroyed, you will succeed in the optional objective. However, this is not the end of the mission. You want to go ahead and clean up any probes and then any spheres that happen to be sitting around here. You'll know you destroyed the last of them when you get a pop-up prompt from one of your officers saying they are detecting some weird signal or something like that.
You see now you saw the assimilated Denartra, and her assimilated Warbird will spawn around you here momentarily. As you can see, Valdor is off in the distance there. You want to get obviously within the 10 kilometers to attack it, but you do not want to go within 5 kilometers. If you do that, it's all but guaranteed you will immediately cloak. This is another point in the mission where gravity wells are extremely helpful, tractor beams that will prevent the Narcha from cloaking and allow you to do more damage more quickly. The other really good thing here is to have the anti-proton sweep that you get from the full Gemahadara space set. If you hit that ray she's about to, quote, to cloak, she will come out of cloak immediately. You see these green lines on my screen? That's bad. You, you just need to run when you see them. That is, you can be 100% haul full power of shields, 100% shields. The moment that goes off, if you're within it, or within, uh, last I checked it was 12.5 kilometers of her inside that beam, you will be one shot killed, no problem. I have yet to see any ship in the game that can withstand a hit from that. As you can see now, we have gravity wells, we have tractor beams going, the Narcha is not going anywhere at this point. And it's just keep attacking, keep attacking, you'll see me hit my gravity well here. Momentarily, at some point here I decide to do it. The one thing to remember if you're using tractor beam repulsors, if you see the Narcha in trapped in tractor beams, gravity wells, try not to use your repulsors because you will end up pushing her out of whatever's holding her out cloak and destroy her. You see that's the mission, completed the optional objective, I got lucky on this one and got the 11 Borg Null processes. So nice little bonus 2000 extra that I was in for me when I turned them in in the mission. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully this will give you a better idea how to get the optional on Kittimer Elite and also on the regular Kittimer space. And hopefully I'll be playing with you guys in Kinderman here soon.